This is gonna totally revolutionize the way you're writing affiliate marketing posts. Here's a post I wrote and published a few days ago. It took roughly an hour from conception to publication, and it was already showing up in the Google SERPs within the first four hours. I used ChatGPT4 to write it, and while the article required very little editing on my part, it's still chock full of real life experience and opinions that make it a unique, valuable piece of content. And I'm gonna share with you the key prompts I used to do it. If you're new to my channel, my name is Corey. I'm a content creator and AI content expert, and it's my mission to share with you everything I know about how to make money online with your content and the best tools for doing so. Quick disclosure, I'm an affiliate for some of the products I talk about in this video, and there are affiliate links in the description box below. This means that if you make a purchase after clicking on one of my links, I may earn a commission. I admit I tend to do things a little bit differently than other bloggers in that I'm something of an oversharer. Most bloggers are very secretive and protective of their strategies and processes because they don't want to deal with the competition and potential keyword poachers. But you know what? I kind of don't care. I mean, I do care, but the truth is I'm so excited about what GPT-4 can do to help you write and rank your blog posts. And I'm just bursting to tell people about it. Maybe that makes me an unsavvy blogger, but I'm an educator at heart and I just really love helping people. And that's why I'm gonna show you these amazing GP4 hacks that have completely transformed the way that I write affiliate marketing posts. If you've been blogging for a while, then you might already be aware that there are different types of blog posts you can write, but they can more or less be bucketed into one of two categories, informational posts and buyer intent posts. Informational posts are great for building authority and traffic. They tend to be a little bit easier to rank for on Google, but harder to monetize. For example, most of my informational posts really only make money through display ads. But posts with buyer intent, those are the real money-making posts. When the user searches for that phrase on Google, they're already interested in purchasing the thing they're Googling. In many cases, these keyword phrases often start with the word best. So you see these articles all the time. The nine best cat brushes for long-haired cats the seven best folding chairs for camping, the 11 best lightweight frying pans. You get the idea. Now finding the right keyword phrase with buyer intent is half the battle. And if you need help with the keyword research side of things, you'll definitely want to check out this playlist here. But the other half of the battle is writing the actual content. Now, if you have any experience writing listicle reviews like this, you know they can be extremely time consuming to write. In many cases, in order to compete with the ranking pages, you need two to 3,000 words of content, sometimes even more. Worse still, writing such posts with AI tools have been notoriously tricky in the past. It is possible, and I did have a pretty good Jasper recipe that made this process a lot faster, but it was still kind of a convoluted process to execute. But now with GPT-4, it is so much faster and easier, especially if you're using these five prompt hacks. Number one, summarize and seed the product info. I'll start by saying that I have experimented with getting GPT-4 to write product reviews without seeding it with the product info, and overall it does do a good job. However, it's not guaranteed that it will provide the right information and I don't want to comb through every single output with a fine tooth comb. So what I like to do is seed ChatGPT with the product information so that I can be confident it's providing accurate info about the products I'm writing about. The first step is to figure out which products you're going to be putting on your list. So in the example of the best yoga mat for bad knees, I selected nine products on Amazon. In a perfect world, you want to review products that you have actual hands-on experience with, but we'll talk about that a little bit more later in this video. And then I created a spreadsheet of all the items are reviewing and I copied and pasted the information for all nine items into ChatGPT. And then above that, I gave it the prompt, summarize the following into four or five concise bullet points. The purpose behind this command is twofold. First, we're getting ChatGPT to create a summary of each product in its own words, and that will help avoid plagiarism when writing the text. Second, you can then seed ChatGPT with this product information in a later prompt without maxing out your character allowance. Because some of these Amazon product descriptions are really long, and if it's more than 8,000 characters or so, it's not going to execute the command. So this way we get a unique condensed summary of each of the product specs. Hack number two is to work your affiliate links into ChatGPT's outputs. So what's really exciting about GPT-4 is that it can actually include hyperlinks in its outputs, which is a huge improvement over older models. And this is a huge deal because if you've ever written these kind of articles before, you know how time consuming it is to manually add all your links. You can even see ChatGPT with all the hyperlinks you intend to use in the article, and it will remember to add them throughout the article as instructed. 
For example, I'll tell ChatGPT, here is a list of products and the hyperlinks I want you to use in this article. Please confirm you understand. Then when ChatGPT confirms it's got it, I can tell it write a 100 to 200 word overview of the first two products, use the corresponding hyperlink provided the first time you mention the product that is not in the heading. And you can see it includes the links in your output. Expert tip number three is to prep ChatGPT with related terms. Just like you can seed ChatGPT with hyperlinks, you can seed it with keywords and terms to use also. If you're not familiar with Surfer SEO, it's a great tool for nailing your on-page optimization, which is a huge factor in ranking high on Google search. I've been a subscriber for over a year now, and it's easily one of the best tools in my arsenal as a blogger. I highly recommend it. If you'd like to check it out, I left a referral link in the description box below. One of the best features is that it gives you a list of related terms to include in your content that signals to Google that yours is a complete piece of content that covers everything the reader needs to know on the topic. And even though they now have this nifty feature that inserts the terms into the content for you, it still adds a lot of time onto the process. And a couple of weeks ago, when I uploaded this video about my process for writing SEO blog posts, someone in the comments asked me if you can instruct ChatGPT to include specific related terms. And that was a great question. So I tested it out and the answer is yes, to an extent. It doesn't work perfectly, but it definitely helps. Just to show you an example, here I asked ChatGPT, write a couple of paragraphs about the best yoga mats for bad knees. And here we have a couple of solid paragraphs. When I plug that into Surfer SEO's content editor, the score is very low. Granted, it's only two paragraphs out of a whole article. But now let's compare this to the output, write a couple of paragraphs about the best yoga mats for bad knees. Please include the following terms in a natural sounding way where it makes sense. And then I pasted the list of Surfer's terms below. When we run this through Surfer, we can see the content score is higher than when we didn't prompt it with any related phrases. So this is an optional step, but it can definitely help save you some time. Tip number four is to create attractive HTML pros and cons charts. I'm a bit embarrassed to admit this as a blogger of five plus years, but I know next to nothing about HTML. I can use it to center things or add alt descriptions and no follow tags, but that's about the extent of my HTML knowledge. And I've always been jealous of other bloggers who have these pretty boxes and visual elements in their blog posts, but I just never got around to learning HTML or Gutenberg. And I didn't want to use plugins because the more plugins you have on your site, the slower your site gets and the more security risks it has. Now, ChatGPT 3 and 3.5 was pretty good with basic HTML, but if you wanted anything remotely fancy, it had a hard time getting things exactly right. But GPT-4 is insanely good at HTML or really any kind of coding, which opens up so many doors for code illiterate folks like myself. For example, I have these lovely pros and cons boxes in my blog post, which were created entirely using HTML written by ChatGPT. Here's the exact prompt I gave it to create this chart. I'm not going to read it all out because it's a really long prompt, but you get the idea. And then I just pasted my pros and cons list beneath it and ChatGPT just writes the code. Then I just use this convenient copy button here scoot over to my WordPress editor, create an HTML block and paste it in. This is a great way to add more visual interest to your blog posts, which helps keep readers on your page longer, thereby boosting your SEO. My final and arguably most important tip of all is to seed the AI with your experience. Now, some amount of editing on your AI content is inevitable. GPT-4 isn't able to read your mind no matter how great your prompts are, so there's always going to be things that you will want to rewrite or reword or otherwise fix. But that doesn't mean that you can't see ChatGPT with information that is exclusive to you. I'm talking about your experience, your expertise, your opinions. And this is the secret sauce to blogging, especially in 2023. If your blog posts are just rehashing the same generic stuff that's everywhere else on the internet, your content is going to get lost in the sea of mediocrity. What's going to give you an edge is your EEAT or experience, expertise, authoritativeness, and trustworthiness. So when it comes to reviews, the best thing you can do for your content is to add real life experience with your products. For Roundup Review products, this can be a bit of a challenge because you may not be in a position where you can just buy nine variations of a product off of Amazon because you know, money and having to return that many items is not really ideal or kosher. There are various solutions for this, but my personal recommendation is to get hands-on experience with at least two or three of the products on your list because some experience is better than none, right? In the example of this post about yoga mats, I have owned the first three mats on this list. So bringing this all back to writing the content with AI, 
I seed ChatGPT with my experience and opinions prior to writing the blog post. So for instance, you could use a prompt like, before you write this blog post about the best yoga mats, here are my personal opinions on each product. And you can just list the products and put a few bullet points about what you liked and didn't like about it. And before you hit enter, write, please confirm you understand the above. And when it confirms that it does, you can then say something like, write a 100 to 200 word paragraph about the product, write about what I personally liked and didn't like about it using examples, tips, and analogies where it makes sense. So yes, we're getting AI written content here, but the key is that it's not information that is rehashing from elsewhere on the internet. This is content is deriving directly from your sentiment, opinions, and feedback on the topic. That's the gist of how I use ChatGPT4 to write effective, profitable affiliate marketing posts. Now it's just a matter of arranging the prompts into what I call a prompt stack so that ChatGPT produces the blog post in a more efficient and well-optimized way. A good prompt stack makes all the difference when it comes to getting the most out of ChatGPT because it completely streamlines the process and eliminates the time you spend fiddling around with what prompts to give it. And if you'd like to use the same method that I used to write this roundup review post, I created a detailed and easy to follow prompt stack that walks you through exactly how to do it. It's super straightforward. You're basically just filling out a spreadsheet and the rest is literally plug and play. But it also comes with a video tutorial walking you through each step of the way. And right now it's available to everyone who becomes a CWW exclusive member on my Patreon. As well, I'm in the middle of revamping this membership to offer even more value starting in May. I'm going to be releasing monthly AI trainings that deep dive into strategies that aren't on my channel. There's going to be monthly live streams where you can ask me your questions and pick my brain about AI content and SEO. And I'm also working on a library of recipes, trainings, courses, and other exclusive resources that members can access anytime, regardless of when they joined. When I relaunch my Patreon in May, the membership price will be $24.97. However, if you become a member before the end of April, you'll get the legacy membership price of $14.97, and you'll get to keep that lower monthly rate for as long as you remain a member. So if you want to check it out and pick up the prompt stack, I've left a link in the description box with all the details. I hope you found this training helpful. And if you have any questions about writing affiliate marketing posts using AI, let me know in the comments below. In the meantime, thanks for watching. And if you wanna check out more great ChatGPT prompts for bloggers, check out this video next.